Given the racial tension in our country, should black people in the United States be planning an exodus to Africa? Uh, I think, I think uh, I just want to throw that out there real quick. I think the first step is to kind of like create a, a relationship with Africa again between Americans and, and Africans. Um, I think there's a bit of a disconnect and there's some bit of repair, you know, that needs to be done a little bit. Just strengthen up that bond um, to see what the next steps are. Well, I just want to be clear when you say that, just, just so we can all be clear. When you say, you know, Africans, you, I mean, you have different countries, but what do you, I, I get, I get what you mean, but what do you, what do you mean by that? I just want to dig into I it. think more like culturally, just kind of build relationships and kind of, um, kind of see each other as like people who are like part of the same culture. I feel like we're, we feel a bit divided um, for different reasons. And I think, mo I think maybe most of that is like, because we're so different culturally that there is a bit of a disconnect that, sh that there shouldn't be. So you're saying before we could even solve the problem of whether or not we can leave or should leave, I'm sorry, the United States, it's we have to create uh, relationships wherever we want to go in Africa before First. that happens. Okay. All right. Anyone else want to yeah, get to the I uh, think question? That I agree. Um, I don't think enough of us have gone to any part of Africa yet. Um, and I mean, of course, with the restrictions on travel and stuff now, I just think that we don't take advantage of it at an early age. A lot of us don't, you know, um, we, they don't, we don't even know where to start. I don't think that we've been taught enough about it and about like, um, if you don't have a lot of friends who are native of like Africa, different parts of Africa, then you're not really exposed to it. Sure, 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 sure. But there are places in, in, in the continent that have welcomed Africans or black people from the diaspora back home, right? So I, I wanna hit on the initial question again, just to get a, a clear answer on this. Should we be planning to go back to our motherland or should we be working to solidify things here? Why can't we do both? I think that we are the master generation of multitasking and we are all capable of going there, coming back, allowing that exchange to happen. And I, I don't want us to just eradicate ourselves from being here. Yeah. We still have a place here, but we also have a place there. Yep. I love your, I love your both comment, right? You said, you know, it's both sides. Michael has a tip, yeah, please go for it. Yeah, I think what you guys are both saying is really important. Um, I think when we say Africa, it makes it seem as though it's a country, it's a continent. There's Talk so many countries there. Um, so it's like, where are we going in that continent? Uh, I feel as though uh, descendants of enslaved persons should be able to get free DNA testing. I don't think we should have to pay for 23andMe. I don't think I should have to pay to find out what my roots are, especially knowing the history of America. So I think when we talk about reparations, that should be one of the forms of reparations that uh, descendants of enslaved persons should have. So then upon knowing historically where your roots are, you'll be more in tune to, I want to go to Ghana. I want to go to Nigeria. I want to go to Liberia. That to me speaks more to learning versus just grouping all of these countries together and just saying Africa because they all have their own cultures. And I want to, I think we should respect that. Mm -hmm. um, African Americans, we created a culture as displaced persons in America. Sure. But let's respect um, sure. those are, that consider themselves to be African. 